Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the iFlight Zing 2207-2450 KV motors. These motors are part of the new Zing line of motors from iFlight. They are available in different sizes, so you can get a 2206, 2207 or 2306 version. And in addition, they are available in different KV options. In this video I'm going to test the 2207-2450 KV version on my motor Frustend using 4 and 5S type of batteries and different type of 5 inch propellers. And soon I'm going to assemble these motors on one of my quadcopters and head outdoors and test them out. The Zing motors come inside this nice round plastic case. On the back we can find the different sizes and also the different KV options. Inside the box we can find the motor itself and a bag with the nut for the motor and also four M3 screws, so you're not giving any extra ones. But on the screws we can find some Loctite, which is a nice touch. The first thing you notice about this motor is its design. It features a nice round shape, the combination of colors is interesting, and the top side looks like a turbojet, which should help keeping the motor cool while it's running. As you can see, like pretty much all the recent racing motors, the Zing motors are using an open bottom design. The silicone wires are 20 AWG wires with a total length of 15 centimeters. And the weight of the motor is 34.6 grams, so it's a little bit on the heavy side. The only 2207 motor that I currently have to compare it with is this Hobby Cool branded Brother Hobby 2207-1700 kV motor. And the weight of this motor is 32.8 grams, so it's a little bit lighter. The motor bell is secured using a hex key screw in the center. It is using Loctite, so if you want to unscrew it, you will need to heat up your soldering iron, heat it up for about 20 to 30 seconds, and only after that, you'll be able to unscrew it. So now after I heat it up, I will be able to remove the screw. The magnets are very strong, so you will need to apply some force. And here you can see how the motor looks from the inside. The quality looks great. And it's not surprising because this motor is not cheap and it costs $20. The next thing I've done is to bench test this motor on my motor thrust end using 4 and 5S like the batteries and different type of 5 inch propellers. And I can tell you that the results were pretty impressive. I measured 1.7 kilograms of thrust using the 5S like the batteries. And I think that I can measure close to 1.8 kilograms when using the Gemfriend 5149 flash propeller. So I'm really looking forward to testing this motor out. It will probably happen in the next week or so, so stay tuned. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions about the Zing 2207-2450 KV motor, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.